Okay, so welcome um, everyone to uh, the call tonight. Um, the third in our series of Elite Health product training webinars. Um, tonight's webinar, I'm really excited to tell you about three products, um, the SLM um, protein shake, the E9 energy drink, and the um, Body Prime, which is a magnesium supplement. Just give you some information about those and um, what benefits they are to our health, because going back to what John was talking about on side one, it's all about elite health, which is helping you to achieve your pinnacle of wellness, your absolute best self, no matter what age you are, whether you're you personally or the people you're helping are very young to very elderly. We could all have our best health. And Sue yesterday spoke about some fantastic supplements that are um, excellent from a maintenance point of view, really putting in that nutrition into our body where we need it. Uh, and this set of three products um, really help to fulfill certain needs, different needs um, to help us achieve our best self. So let's kick start with um, the SLM protein shake, which can be used from a weight control perspective um, and also for sports and exercise. So I don't know whether you've had a chance to try the SLM. SLM standing for Slim, Lose and Maintain. Um, but it's a fantastic tasting shake, actually. It comes in vanilla flavor or chocolate flavor. So let's have a look at what it is. So SLM Smart is a complete meal replacement shake with protein and 22 vitamins and minerals. It's a totally balanced shake that can keep you full for up to four hours, and it contains the equivalent sugar levels of an apple. And it's an alternative for breakfast. It can help you to lose weight. It can be used post-workout or as a convenient and healthy meal on the go when you're busy. And that last point is always beneficial, the um, a meal on the go. If you're driving long distances or traveling a long way or you know you haven't really got much time to stop and have a proper lunch. Um, it's, these protein shakes um, are absolutely invaluable for that and generally tend to stop us from um, choosing something that probably isn't so healthy uh, from the garage or something along those lines. Well, let's have a look at the ingredients. So um, SLM has um, three different types of protein in it. So Comparing it to a little bit of the biome shake, which John spoke about, which is part of the Purify program, the biome shake has a protein that is pea protein and suitable for vegans, as the SLM has soy, whey and casein proteins, um, not, so, not suitable for vegans because of the whey and the casein, but definitely suitable for vegetarians and, for, and obviously for everybody else. The SLM has 27 grams of protein. The, P, the uh, Biome Shake is 20 grams, so has a little bit more protein in. Uh, so consequently, it can be a bit more filling, um, especially if you're using it for weight management. The um, ingredients are really interesting because the three proteins um, digest in your body at different speeds. And this is what helps you to remain fuller for longer when you have this protein shake. The whey is the fastest to digest into your bloodstream and it really helps with um, your muscles and putting protein back into the muscles. It contains three branch, branch chain amino acids which help with the immune system, with strength, with um, growth and endurance. And whey drinks are actually the oldest fitness drink in the world, first reported over two and a half thousand years ago, where they drank like a whey solution. Um, and Hippocrates called it the healing water because of the amount of benefits it has to um, our strength and our uh, muscle tone. So the whey digests the fastest. It goes straight into the bloodstream and starts to feed the muscles um, and, and fill the body straight away. Then comes in the soy. So soy has a slightly slower digestion process than the whey. So it doesn't digest um, at the same time. 
and it starts to hit the bloodstream second behind the whey. And then lastly comes the casein, which is the third protein to digest, the slowest protein to digest. And it's because of the different speeds of proteins that this is the reason why this particular protein shake helps you to feel full and satisfied for up to four hours. Um, the casein especially also really helps the recovery of muscles through the supply of the amino acids overnight for up to eight hours, which makes it an excellent source of protein for muscle recovery. Now you'll notice that it has inulin in it, which is also in the pea protein shake, um, the biome shake. Inulin, of course, is a fantastic fermentable prebiotic fiber. Uh, so this really helps with your, your gut, feeding your gut bacteria. Um, and also inulin helps with the absorption of the calcium and the magnesium that is found within the shake. Um, as you can see, it has um, loads of different vitamins in, lots of different um, uh, minerals, and it actually qualifies on by EU guidelines as a healthy meal because the, the what is in by uh, the SLM contributes to a third of your body's nutritional needs, and it's quite a, a strict criteria for a shake to be classed as a replacement meal. Um, and SLM uh, hits all those boxes under the EU guidelines. So how do you have it? Well, inside is a scoop uh, and you have three scoops in uh, milk or water um, or whatever you're, you know, you're mixing it with. Um, it could be a nut milk or an almond, you know, like almond milk, oat milk, uh, coconut water, plain water. You can choose what you want to mix it with. Um, comparing that to the biome shake, which is two scoops, SLM is three scoops. So just to make sure you, you know the difference. And as a maintenance, you know, one serving a day, so three scoops in your water or liquid, one serving a day, and to lose weight, two servings a day. I'm going to go into that in a bit more detail. So SLM is a fantastic meal replacement for um, the problems that we are seeing around us with obesity. Um, it's had a really thorough testing to help people with weight management. So I want to just go into this in a little bit because weight management is such an important area um, for us to, to enable us to help people who are perhaps struggling with um, you know, being able to lose and maintain weight. We know the statistics is uh, that um, weight gain, obesity in particular, is going to be reaching staggering standards. And certainly a lot of that relates back to the gut and um, the Purify program. And, and you can, you'll be able to see how SLM can fit very nicely as part of a maintenance package to um, continue people's weight loss journey. Because it has to be said that um, some people might prefer the taste of this one compared to the biome shake, um, you know, um, or they might like this one because um, it fills them up for longer and it's a bit more versatile. But in the UK, obesity is on the increase and they think it'll be a 75% increase by the time we hit 2030. So there's lots of interrelated health issues when we have weight problems. Um, being overweight or um, obese impacts the risk um, of interrelated health issues that include heart issues like coronary heart disease, stroke or high blood pressure and cholesterol. Um, it also affects um, blood sugars and issues such as diabetes and many other musculoskeletal issues including um, osteoarthritis which is uh, like a degeneration of cartilage and underlying bone within the joint or respiratory problems sleep issues like sleep apnea, um, mental health, psychological issues, for example, self-esteem, reproductive issues like infertility um, and liver and gallbladder issues and, and so much more. So being carrying extra weight um, can have a really huge effect on many different parts of our body systems. According to the World Health Organization, the, the burden on our NHS is um, to do with weight, uh, to do with the excess weight, 
is a 44% burden of diabetes, 23% um, burden of heart disease, um, and between 7 and 41% of certain cancers that are attributed specifically to being overweight and obese. And there's been a lot of adverts about that on the radio. Uh, I don't know whether you've heard those, but certainly on the radio station I've been listening to. So what's causing this um, globesity um, epidemic as, the, as it's been nicknamed? Well, obviously poor diet has a contributing factor and poor diet can come hand in hand with income levels. People with higher incomes are generally eating more rich and indulgent foods as people with lower income levels can be eating um, sort of high sugar, higher fat um, and processed foods that tend to be lower in cost and also low in nutritional quality. So these um, diet restrictions affect all people, uh, no matter who they are. And then sedentary lifestyles. Well, this again comes hand in hand with technological advances like having computers and smartphones and sitting watching video games and television. Um, and in parts of the world, certainly in the UK, there's an awful lot more people working from home now. So there's no need to sort of be moving around quite so much. This could relate to me quite easily, which is why having a dog is so useful to get me out walking some days. Then we have urbanization um, where people are sort of moving into towns and cities, uh, taking public transport to wherever it is they need to go, which means that, uh, again, there's far less walking. And then there's all sorts of other things like, um, you know, the, the stress of life, lack of time, um, you know, comfort eating and, and all sorts of other reasons. There's, there's many, many reasons why people's weight is changing. And of course, as we know, with the Purify program, some of this relates to our gut bacteria as well. So everything is interconnected. So weight management is a lifelong endeavor because as we age, you may notice this yourself, your body composition changes. So when we're younger and assuming we're of healthy weight, we have a far higher muscle ratio to fat ratio. But as we go through the age, eight, uh, the decades, the muscle, the muscle tone reduces and fat increases. So although weight may not go up um, massively for some, the ratio of fat to muscle will change. And when people go on traditional diets, they can find that they not only lose some weight, but they also lose muscle tone as well. As what you actually want to do is to continue to grow and strengthen your muscles. Muscles help you to maintain a healthy weight as well, because muscles burn more calories um, than fat does. So maintaining a really strong, healthy muscle base is important and keeping the fat levels down in the body. So even just a little bit of weight loss for the average person, five to 10 percent of your overall weight has a massive um, improvement in health risks. So this can include things like your blood pressure, your cholesterol levels and your blood sugar. So, um, you know, a lot of us can certainly have a benefit, all the people we're helping, by just reducing their weight even just by a bit. So there are some barriers that people may have experienced to maintaining a healthy weight in the past. Um, you know, most of us are familiar with the health, health risks um, and we know our bodies naturally change as we age. So why aren't more people doing a better job at managing their weight? Well, for some people, it's the fact that this progress is slow, so, so slow. Um, people don't have a lot of patience. Um, some people set unrealistic weight goals and then they stop dieting if they don't hit those goals very quickly. For some, it's about the willpower. Uh, some, you know, most people cheat on their weight loss program in the very first week. Uh, many cheat because they're hungry. Others cheat when they have cravings for their favorite foods like sweet or savory snacks. For some, it's about the time and energy. Um, you know, it's about changing your routines and people can feel get, get sort of tired and fatigued at trying to have to keep changing routines. And of course, 
temptations for unhealthy foods are all around us all the time where you know wherever we go so and it can seem very appealing uh, very easy to just grab uh, an unhealthy snack for some it's the cost you know fast foods and processed foods you know they're made to be inexpensive so uh, families on a budget might be choosing um, fast foods over um, cooking for themselves as they feel that it might be easier um, and then there's stress which can affect our lifestyle choices and you know there's a difference between hunger versus cravings because hunger is your body signaling it needs nutrients and it's a biological or physical need that typically gets more intense and doesn't disappear over time. As a craving is a psychological need, then these are often triggered by stress or depression or anger or some other uh, comfort eating, um, but they tend to go away, especially if you um, take your mind off it or you do something to alleviate it, like drinking some water or taking a walk or doing some exercise and you stop thinking about um, though what it is that you thought you wanted. So, you know, it's helpful to identify the difference between cravings and hunger. And some people just don't have the knowledge or understand why uh, they can, you know, or how to manage their weight um, and what, what proper nutrition is, is key. So for these reasons, many diets, um, you know, many dieters sort of just don't have the, the success they're looking for. Um, in terms of uh, analysis that was done over popular diets, only sort of two to three percent of weight was lost and maintained. That's only around four to five pounds over a year. Surgery only yields about five percent for those that are eligible. But meal replacements as a long term approach to um, managing your weight has shown the data, this is a big, a big results that were, were, were done across many different spectrums of programs, was shown that um, six months, 10 pounds was um, maintained very easily and regularly, and over a longer period of time, 21 pounds. And that's taking into account people, you know, um, yo-yo dieting. But, you know, one of the things that we're trying to achieve with the people that we're working with is to have a consistent approach and a long-term approach and using certain supplements to help them maintain uh, their weight going forward and education about uh, what's, you know, what's good to eat and what's not so good to eat so that people can have those bigger and more long-term results. So as we said, SLM is a fantastic meal replacement for reducing fat and for building muscle, 26 grams of protein that is time released to help you feel full for longer. Now, why protein? Protein shakes are on the increase in a big way. Um, protein is an important part of a healthy life, a lifestyle. It helps to maintain muscle mass, as we said. It helps women to um, get leaner muscles and, and shape up and help them be more toned. Uh, for men, they might want to be growing their muscles um, to, um, so it's good for exercise and resistance training. And of course, uh, as we age, we want to be looking after that muscle mass. So we are stronger, that's the whole point of that. We are stronger as we approach our much older years, you know, that you've maintained good muscle strength. So one of the things that you can do is have a better breakfast. Um, it's been clinically shown that when you replace your breakfast with a protein shake, it helps to decrease your desire to overeat. It sets your blood sugars um, stable right from the beginning of the day. It helps to initialize your metabolism to get things going, uh, get you fat burning or um, using your energy. It's easier to control your weight. Um, and the, v, the B vitamins and the vitamin C help to contribute to efficient metabolism. So there's lots of reasons why 
having protein for breakfast is is a really good thing to do and the great thing about the SLM is that you can mix it with all sorts of things so if you have a smoothie in the morning you've got a Nutribullet or something along those lines you can add uh, some scoops of protein powder the SLM into your fruits or your vegetables or with nut butter um, with all sorts of things you can mix it with um, and actually there are some SLM recipes uh, that I will uh, we're going to create a fact sheet around these products and I'll make sure that you uh, have the links to those recipes in the fact sheet so one meal a day sculpt to maintain your body two meals a day if you're wanting to lose weight usually breakfast and lunch um, there could be lunch breakfast and evening meal if you prefer and then adding e9 uh, into that program for energy and we'll talk about the e9 in a bit more detail but having one or two e9s a day two slm shakes a day is a superb combination for weight control so you can take an slm smart challenge so this is a 90 day challenge um, and you can take some before and after photographs, which are really useful for you to see the difference. You know, you might choose to share them on social media later, but even if it's just for your own self, it's really good to do that. You want to record your weight once a week and record the amount of inches or centimeters you've lost in uh, the various different parts of your body. Because as you take the SLM, one of the things you'll notice is that the body tones better. So you may not, there are some weeks where you may not have lost much weight, but you'll have lost more inches because your body's um, composition is changing. Having uh, the two shakes a day is also advisable with a healthy diet. So things like your fruits and your vegetables, your whole grains, other healthy proteins and plenty of fluids. Um, and you could actually look at the Purify Friendly Foods list that comes with the Purify program for plenty of ideas of what fruits and vegetables are ideal to stick to. Um, but it's that Mediterranean diet that you want with plenty of um, fresh vegetables and legumes and um, peas and beans and all of this sort of thing to, to feed, fill your body up with plenty of fiber and proteins. The program is also recommended, the 90 day program with exercise. You know, exercise has so many benefits. It obviously helps us to burn those calories and lifts your mood, reduces your stress, helps with sleep and promotes a long and active lifestyle, prevents disease. But the program specifically asks for 30 minutes per day, at least five days a week. So that's part of the 90 day challenge the two shakes a day, one or two E9s a day, healthy, nutritious foods, and 30 minutes of exercise five days a week. Um, and the SLM, as I said, EU regulations have called this a meal replacement, and that is because it constitutes a protein serving, a whole grain serving because of the fiber in it, a vegetable serving, and a dairy serving. So your non-SLM smart meal should um, mimic the same. Um, you don't have to necessarily have the dairy with your evening meal if you're having two shakes because you've had sufficient dairy. But certainly it should have your protein, your whole grains and your, your vegetables in your evening meal. Now, we had a 90 day test group, so I'd just like to share with you some of the results. I was part of this test group. One of the things I love about Synergy is that when uh, um, a new product is um, is coming online, they, they've done loads and loads of tests at the Hughes Centre for clinical research before we even see it. Um, human clinical trials on products to see how effective they are um, at, at doing what uh, they want the product to do. But, be, but then there's a, a field test with um, distributors where distributors can trial it and give feedback um, to Synergy before it even comes out to customers. So this was a field test of 70 team members that agreed to sign up to the 90 day program. The uh, average weight loss was 11% um, during that um, 90 days with five participants losing more than 20% of their starting weight. 
So the total group lost 587 kilograms, which gave an average percentage of 12.1% um, over the entire group. Uh, so it is a sort of thing that's quite nice to do in groups. Um, you know, you can set up groups yourself to help people to um, uh, understand the program and manage their weight better as part of a 90 day process. And there's a booklet that comes with the 90 day program. Again, I will um, put this on the fact sheet that will come out later. Um, but that um, booklet goes through exactly what the 90 day program is um, is all about. So there we are. That is the fantastic SLM. And hopefully uh, you've learned something new. So let's talk about E9, which is our energy drink. So E9 is an amazing natural energy drink. It's packed full of vitamins and natural caffeine that can give you sustained energy and mental focus throughout the day. It also contains alarginine for heart health and inulin for gut health. And the revolutionary difference between E9 and chemical-based energy drinks people buy in the shops or see on adverts is that E9 helps the body to produce its own energy from within. It doesn't pump the body full of external chemical stimulants. So this ensures the body stays healthy for longer and removes any nasty come down effect that other energy drinks might have. If we look at the ingredients, we can see it's packed full of yummy goodness. We've got uh, six different amino, uh, seven different amino acids in there. As you can see, the L-arginine, which uh, Sue Thomas spoke about, uh, also in pro-arginine, really excellent for your cardiovascular health. Um, and the inulin that we have in there as well, which um, is used, is helpful for your gut health, the, um, the uh, prebiotic fibers. You have loads of B vitamins, and you have your guarana seed, yerba mate, acai berry, aloe vera leaf, green tea extract. It's a really fantastic, healthy energy source. A serving size is a sachet. A daily dose might be one sachet or as and when it's required, as and when you uh, Oh, move on. So um, let's just I'll move on from that one. So why E9? So people are struggling uh, on a daily basis. People are experiencing a lack of energy. People are feeling stressed uh, and people are definitely making some unhealthy choices. And what people are looking for in energy drinks is um, products that have lots of B vitamins because B vitamins are known to support brain and memory strength. Um, so E9 gives you a healthy alternative for that. It's low calorie, just 20 calories in an E9 stick. Um, and as I said, with a source of arginine and it has a natural form of caffeine from the guarana seed, uh, as opposed to um, energy drinks, which generally have like an anhydrous type of caffeine, which works in a more chemical stimulant kind of way. Um, E9 has natural caffeine from the ground up guarana seed. But the natural energy sources come from the guarana seed and the yerba mate and the B vitamins. And as we said, you know, let's not forget that alarginine and inulin and the six amino acids as well. So let's have a look at what's going on with that energy drinks market. Well, it's a massive, massive business. Um, the global market share is about 1.6 billion being spent on energy drinks. In Europe alone, 270 million, with Western Europe being 20% of that market. And the top 10 energy drinkers in Western Europe is the United Kingdom, Germany, Poland, and Austria. So, uh, I mean, certainly, you know, you might be aware of how many people that you know that rely on some form of energy drink um, either every day or, uh, you know, during at some point during their week. One of the biggest energy drink sales is the Red Bull, which is not surprising given the amount of advertising Red Bull does and um, the sponsorships it does on everything. Um, but this is um, an eight billion um, in sales. And as you can see, Monster, Rockstar, LucasAid and Burn are the other top energy drink um, set um, producers. 
So according to the European Food Safety Authority, 30% of European adults consume energy drinks at least once a year, with 12% being high chronic users, and 52% of adults use energy drinks for sports and physical activities. But we now know that energy drinks are being banned from the sale to children across the UK. And the, there's a growing sentiment of energy drinks not being very healthy um, and often full of, um, uh, de sort of chemical sweeteners, uh, like aspartame, for example, um, as as well as the anhydrous caffeine and the chemicals that sort of put this energy um, into you, like st as a stimulant, as opposed to boosting your energy from within with good food and nutrition. The uh, again, the European Food Safety Authority is concerned about the excessive consumption of energy drinks, and it said due to exponential growth rate which characterised the energy drink market over the last years, the study team suggests to monitor possible further increases in energy drink consumption. So, you know, they're starting to look at some of the health problems that people are experiencing that are directly related to this massive increase in energy drinks. So what about E9 then? Well, we don't have that carbonation. We don't have the sugars. So it keeps you hydrated. It contains essential nutrients. It still tastes great. And actually, with a box of 30 sticks in a box, it actually works out the same or less in price than it does for any of these cans and drinks. So it doesn't even um, work out per drink any more expensive. And comparing it to some of these other um, big players in the market, as you can see, uh, we're only 20 calories with the average being, um, you know, 100 plus. We don't have sugar in ours. We only have five grams of carbohydrates compared to an average of 30. We don't have the anhydrous caffeine. We have L-arginine. They don't. And we have far higher levels of vitamins, let alone the inulin and the acai berry and the green tea and all the other wonderful things and the other amino acids that we have within hours as well as. And then there's coffee. Some people are using coffee as a stimulant. Um, it's a huge, especially in certain parts of Europe. But again, coffee, you know, it lacks vitamins and minerals. Um, it can have a negative effect, especially on your dental health, as E9 requires little to no preparation and is much better for hydration. So it's a better form of um, pick-me-up than coffee will ever be. And then let's have a look at um, healthy energy for the under 30s. Uh, this is a market of people that really might want to get involved with Synergy because energy drink consumption from the 18 to 29 year old group is skyrocketed with around 53% of young adults drinking four to five energy drinks per week. Um, the average young adult drinks seven liters of their favorite energy drink in a month. So, you know, E9 is of interest to this younger group. Um, it could be university students. Um, my, well, my, my son has actually been uh, consuming E9 since he was about 16 for help with um, getting up early for school and um, uh, through exams. And he's at university now. It could be for um, athletes for, uh, for your workouts. Um, it could be, you know, in working long hours. Uh, long night shifts and things like that or as a young parent um, we, we uh, my children have grown up now but I surely remember how tired I was when I was uh, when they were young so there's lots of good reasons why E9 is a fantastic energy drink and and I find it's really helpful you know if sometimes you have a night where you haven't slept very well or you haven't slept for long enough because you haven't been in bed uh, for enough time and you wake up in the morning and you're still tired, reaching for an energy drink is just the best thing uh, for our E9. Um, if you have a slump in the afternoon, um, if you've got to focus for sports performance or endurance, um, if you're traveling, like for example, when I do really long drives, as I often do, um, I find that it really helps with mental focus when you're driving. So many reasons why uh, E9 is such a useful drink to have at to hand. Definitely always want to keep some sticks 
of E9 in your handbag or your or your bag or your car. So here's a message for today's driven society. How bad do you want success? How you wake up says it all. So spring out of bed with an E9 and pro arginine, which is, I have to say, my ultimate favorite cocktail. Um, these two together, it is rocket fuel. So if you haven't tried it, I strongly recommend you do. So that just gives me 10 minutes to um, tell you about Body Prime. Now, although this is part of the Purify program, this is a standalone product, which is why we wanted to cover it in a bit more detail, because it, it, it is a super fantastic form of magnesium that all of us really should be taking because um, pretty much every, everyone is um, deplete in magnesium. It's such an essential mineral. So we're going to talk about why that is now. So why is it called body prime? Well, prime means to prepare. Prepare the body for any kind of health regime, prepares for nutrient absorption. It um, has a mild pro progressive effect on your on your bowels, but it doesn't affect regular activity. Um, and we should be taking two per day um, at any time of day. And if we take more than two, then it can have a laxative effect, which can sometimes be uh, really helpful if you're, you've got a bit of constipation going on. Sometimes when people travel, they find it hard to have a normal toilet routine. So having an extra more than two a day is really useful. Um, or you can uh, take more than two a day for a bit of a detox for a week. You can have two or four, you can have four or six a day um, if you want a week to uh, really help to detox the body. So this formula has simple ingredients that support cleansing and bowel motility to prime the body for an effective purification. That's why it's part of the Purify program. It contributes to healthy electrolyte balance. It contributes to natural energy metabolism, to muscle function, including the heart muscle, to uh, muscle contraction, which is affecting a normal heartbeat. And it can also help to reduce tiredness and fatigue. It has ingredients of apple pectin and prune powder along with the magnesium. And these are probiotics that help support the bacteria in your intestinal tract, um, but more in towards the large intestine and colon end. So it really helps to keep the lower end of your intestinal tract in a healthy state. And with the bowel motility, it really helps you to eliminate in a very clean fashion, uh, not leaving anything behind so that, um, you know, it prevents, you know, it helps with um, protection from things like diverticulitis, where, you know, you can get like a buildup of, um, of feces basically inside the bowel and uh, it can cause pockets and infection. You know, magnesium helps the bowels to really empty very cleanly. It's a really important part of the process. So, you know, set two capsules a day as a maintenance, four to six capsules a day as a, lactive, a laxative effect, which is perfectly safe to do so. So, you know, why magnesium when it comes to taking this along with the V3, um, the, the V3 supplements? Um, it's like it has the benefits of daily supplementation. So, it's important to know that it's been it's been clinically shown to help our bodies digest and absorb what we eat. So as we eat healthy foods, amino acids, vitamins, antioxidants, etc., a sufficient amount of magnesium helps your body to realize the benefits of those nutrients, to extract them from the foods. And even on its own, magnesium has been shown to help with muscle function and normal heartbeat um, and muscle contraction. It's fantastic for exercise as well. To additionally put magnesium into your diet, maybe with the E9 and the SLM, it helps balance out the electrolytes. Um, it helps with energy metabolism and it can reduce fatigue. So there's clearly benefits of um, bringing that on board with your exercise regime. So digestive health is ranked as the number three health concern amongst consumers today. You know, you'll see that people are looking for help with um, bloating issues, IBS issues, acid reflux issues. 
Um, if people are worried about um, bowel cancers and colon cancers and all of these sorts of things. So, you know, people are looking for a supplement as a way to support their digestive health. Uh, and certainly magnesium is one of the key daily supplements that you can take to help support that. Early, there's lots of different signs of deficiency. Some, some of these are sort of severe deficiency in magnesium, like fatigue and weakness and muscles, uh, numbness and tingling and cramps, um, things like that. Um, but habitually low intakes um, lead to long-term illness risks of hypertension and cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, osteoporosis, and, and things like migraines. Um, you know, there's lots and lots of things. You can go online and do some research about magnesium deficiency. The list is even more endless than this. Uh, lots of things that you may be surprised that uh, would come under that list. So some people have said, well, why is this a magnesium oxide source as opposed to magnesium citrate? Um, and there's actually an eight minute video by Dr. Tripp uh, specifically um, talking about Body Prime and including some of the information that they've done with, um, with, with tests at the Hughes Center. But uh, when we was in Rome a couple of years ago, Dr. Tripp did a lecture for, uh, for us in Synergy about these results. And oral magnesium oxide was the one that showed the biggest increase in MG2 in terms of its absorbability and was the one that showed that it had the ability to reduce cholesterol and LDL ox um, oxidized cholesterol. So it had the, the highest level of absorbability. And that is because as well that ours is paired with the apple pectin and prune powder, which also uh, contributes to the absorption capability of the magnesium oxide through the intestinal tract. It's also been shown in the studies at the Hughes Center that it can help support your blood pressure um, as part of um, looking after your cardiovascular arteries. It helps to produce nitric oxide. It helps the insides of your arteries and it helps that vasodilation. So taking it alongside proarginine is a really important pair of products for anybody with any sort of cardiovascular disease on board um, or people over 40 who may not have the signs of blood pressure at the moment, but without doubt will be having in a thickening of the arteries because you know our arteries thicken with each decade as we, uh, as we age. So looking at taking on board a magnesium supplement with the proarginine is going to have a huge impact on the protection against heart disease, which is the number one killer in the world still uh, to this day. Um, also, um, you know, it, people who have really serious heart concerns like coronary heart, artery disease. Again, magnesium has had um, been studied with that with magnesium oxide of body prime to show that it has um, superb effects with uh, cardiovascular disease. There's been extensive tests done as to why this is the best form of uh, magnesium that we can be taking. Uh, also to do with exercise, it was tested to show that it um, magnesium helps your resting systolic blood pressure in enabling your body to recover from aerobic exercise and resistance training, which helps your performance. Um, so again, this is why it's important to bring magnesium into your diet if you are into your sports and fitness, along with protein shakes and E9, um, you know, your protein for your muscle recovery and E9 for your energy and uh, endurance. So hopefully you've learned something a bit more about our, these uh, well, three fantastic products, the SLM in the vanilla and chocolate, the E9 and the Body Prime. And I'm finishing perfectly on time just to tell you that Trulum skincare will be the subject for tomorrow. What a fantastic skincare range that is. If you haven't had the chance to use it, then, um, you know, um, then Sarah Andrews will hopefully inspire you to have a think about that. So she's talking tomorrow night at eight o'clock. And then we have our Synergy Business Academy 
on the 8th of December, where we're going to meet in person. The subject for the day is the art of conversation. So uh, this will enable you to um, really get some superb conversations going in with um, potential prospects, customers, uh, with your team members um, to communicate about these fantastic products that we have. So that's it from me tonight. Um, thank you so much for joining us um, on the call and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the evening. Take care, everybody.